Welcome to Gamer's Platform. Hey guys, just wanted to make this quick uh, video to kind of like, just make people aware of the fact that this is possible. Um, now I'm not saying that this is going to be possible for every configuration of PC um, at all. I'm not uh, suggesting that you go ahead and try it yourself. I just did it because I'm insane. Um, but uh, I just figured I'd show you guys that it's possible to do this one little thing um, without too much of a, of a worry. Okay, so uh, just the other day, uh, some of you may have looked at my Twitter uh, feed. And um, if you did, you would have seen that uh, I was having some issues. Windows was freezing. Now, I personally have never actually come across this situation. Um, <clears throat> but of course, with some research and everything, you find out that, well, it's a memory issue. Uh, one, meaning one of the sticks is bad, one of the uh, RAM sticks. Um, and this is the culprit right here, my PNY. Um, 1866 megahertz, uh, 8 gig stick. I have two of these, only this one for some reason burned out. Um, not sure why. Now it it kind of works, you know. It'll it'll load into Windows and whatnot, but um, after I don't know, maybe a couple minutes, it'll freeze. I did a memory test, and for sure, it didn't even finish the test. Um, however, the other stick actually did finish. Now, <clears throat> the only reason I'm bringing this up to you guys is because I have one stick that's good and one stick that's bad. However, with most modern games, especially brand new ones like Mass Effect Andromeda, the recommended uh, computer set, uh, specs are 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is an astronomical amount to freaking have um, for just one game. Most games don't even go past maybe four tops eight. Um, so we're really getting into the realm of, you know, heavy duty gaming. But what I wanted to show you guys personally was the fact that because I have one extra stick, I still needed 16 gigs of RAM. So luckily, I still had some extra Corsair Vengeance uh, RAM left over. However, they are two sticks of four gigs a piece, which means I only have eight gigs uh, total between two sticks. So I figured, uh, I did a little research and found out there are very specific reasons that you can and cannot pair two different brands or even types. Um, <clears throat> obviously, they're all DDR3. Um, so that's the one thing they have in common, but what they also need to have in common is the voltage. So they have to take in the same amount of power. Um, the cast latency, which I'm, I, I can't remember what cast stands for um, or what it's for, but that has to be the same. There's a few other things, but um, if you download CPU-Z, um, it tells you everything you need to know. And so I figured... Screw it. Might as well just test it and see what happens. The worst that can happen is the computer just won't like it and it'll be like blue screen or just won't go into Windows or something like that. But I wanted to show you guys that it is possible to actually mix and match uh, RAM types if they are compatible enough. So as you can see, let me get my uh, little light here. You can see right there, okay, we've got the two blue ones are... Corsair Vengeance, those are the two 4 gig sticks, so they're they're in the same channel, so it's dual channel for those, and the one right in the center there, the little black one, is the other PNY stick. Now that's, again, 1866 megahertz, however, this motherboard can only go up to 1600 megahertz un clock uh, like unoverclocked it I don't know how to really say that if you're not overclocking it can only go up to 1600 megahertz and that's what the two Corsair Vengeance sticks are rated at tops and so since the PNY can do 1600 megahertz um, and lower of course um, on an unoverclocked motherboard then I figured well it should be fine and it turns out it is um, the CPU Z <coughs> uh, setup can can prove or the the cpu z program can prove that um at 1600 megahertz they both have the same cast latency so uh luckily for me it worked out and i still have 16 gigs of ram very strange 
way to do it, but I just wanted to, you know, make a quick video to show you guys that it is possible if you were thinking about, well, you know, you've got multiple sticks of RAM, they are the same type, DDR3, DDR2, DDR4, whatever the case may be, whether they're different brands or not, it, what matters is whether they have similar specifications. And um, again, you can download CPU-Z uh, or CPU-Z, as some people like to call it, you know, to make sure that people know what Z is. Um, and uh, it'll tell you everything you need to know about your motherboard, your memory, uh, graphics card, all that stuff. And uh, luckily, I was saved by my extra RAM that I have on hand. But I don't, again, I don't recommend that you do this, but I lucked out on this one. And so I just wanted to make, uh, I don't know how many videos are out there showing that this is possible, but it is possible in very specific situations. Anyway, thanks for checking out this video, guys. Hope you liked it. And uh, I'm looking to do more types of videos just like this. Um, in the future, you know, little tidbit info videos. If you like them, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And I will see you guys in the next one.